can we start? Yes, you can start. Hello, everyone. Uh, today, I want to introduce uh, our project, Agronet. Uh, first of all, uh, my name is Arif uh, Najimov. Uh, I am a member of the Agronet project. And today, we want to introduce our uh, solution in agrofield. Uh, our project, as you see, uh, unified electronic and mobile warehouse. And this project uh, start uh, to solve problem when agriculture or entrepreneur who is working in agriculture, they have some problem to sell their products. And now, in nowadays, we have solutions in using ICT technology, which using mobile technology or ICT solutions, we create AgroNet platform, which it help to the farmers and uh, new entrepreneurs to uh, take photos of uh, products and uh, upload to the, our uh, platform using for a simple mobile telephone. And uh, using this AgroNet platform, we are uh, processing data and preparing for our uh, website and our warehouse platform. Then we are using uh, this information, this data, to sell in local markets or in international markets. This uh, also we are we have logistic and uh, delivery uh, support uh, using some uh, partner uh, logistic companies. At the, at the same time, we have uh, cooperation with local and international uh, local uh, distributors or big markets or producers, which we our cooperation and coordination with these partners, we're selling uh, and supporting uh, entrepreneurs and farmers in Azerbaijan. And also, is this platform also help uh, work in the uh, B2 customer model and B2B uh, model. At the same time, uh, our goal to uh, support our firmness and entrepreneurs uh, with uh, Made in Azerbaijan brand to uh, export uh, their uh, products, also import special equipment to uh, develop our production. Our income model, you see in this uh, model, we can discuss later in uh, B2B meetings. At the same time, we, our request invest is 1,500,000. Uh, and also our share of incomes, as you see in this table. And uh, it's our team. Thank you for your attention. And uh, we are ready to cooperate with you. Thank you very much, Agronet. You're welcome. And we are moving with Anak to you, please. You'll have three minutes. Please follow the timer on the screen and you'll have your presentation as well here. Please. Stage is yours. All right. Hi, I'm Muzaffa from Anak to you. So we are based in Malaysia. So because of COVID, most of the classes are done, are done online now and uh, students and teachers are becoming more and more familiar with this. Well, regardless, there are still a discrepancy of learning because some of the places do not have uh, access to limited access to fast internet. So that's why we come up with anak to you So it's a platform that facilitates online and also offline class delivery by helping teachers to plan and deliver the suitable content based on students' learning environment through analytics and recommendation. For example, teachers managing class in rural area will be suggested with more project-based learning and nature-based learning projects, while teachers in the cities, for example, can continue delivering class during online methods in the apps or in the system. Our platform contains what is needed to manage an online class, but in particular, we are focusing on Islamic-based content, so we provide contents and also the trackers that is needed to, to do an Islamic uh, delivery, for example, Hafazan tracker and also Doa recitation tracker. So we, our, our main product is sold directly to the school, but we also meet with clients and partners based on revenue sharing to white label the products with different type of contents. 
Our main product is used around 150 schools in Malaysia. The project receives a Malaysia government grant and we follow an international standard based on OECD PISA uh, standard. We also have partnered up with an online Quran learning center that has 400 institutions in Southeast Asia to create the white label version, Zamiluni, specifically for Quran learning. And outside of Malaysia, we are also partnered up with Z Group, who products include ZTV and IslamicQA.info, based in UAE to create the Middle East version of the product. And what makes us different than others are the fact that we are the, at one time, we are the platform that facilitates school management. We also include contents for offline learning and we focus on Islamic tracking. And we wish to expand this product through Muslim market as we are already started in Malaysia and sign up partners in Saudi Arabia. Our next aim is to go for English and French speaking Muslim country through PK, pre-K, K-12 and Madrasa in Southeast Asia. So we, overall, we have around 30 years experience, including big projects, including for Airbus Singapore. And we are looking for a pre-seed investment of 500,000 USD and also potential partners, accelerators that can help us for market access in Central Asia, South Asia and Turkey. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. It was really great. And we are moving with Bakiem, please. Stage is yours. Follow the timer, you'll see the time. Hi everyone, I am Selin Nizam and uh, co-founder of Bakiem. Uh, as a fintech co company, Bakiem provides online payment solution. Our starting point uh, was cost of traditional payments in Turkey and uh, difficulties of the digital payment methods in Turkey. And uh, as a solution, we provide pr practical and affordable payment methods by combining advantages of virtual post and Bakiam solution. We have four uh, main products and one of them is Bakiam Post. Uh, thanks to Bakiam Post, our customers can uh, receive their payment uh, with on the, from uh, their mobile phone without need any other device. Uh, now we, uh, now more than 3,000 companies uses our uh, Bakiam Post uh, and we get only a commission rates for, uh, from each successful transaction for this product. And another product is Saha Bakiam and uh, this is a B2B solutions and uh, thanks to Sabakiam, uh, a company can operate all uh, seller process in a one stream. And we get from this product, uh, in addition to commis commission rates, also a uh, subscription fee. And Sabakiam was awarded in uh, three different categories from IDC in last year. And another product is Banka Bakiam and uh, Banka Bakiam combining all bank accounts on a one screen and thanks to the ERP accounting integration, uh, easily uh, firms easily can uh, follow up their instant balance ranking. And the other one is Pazar Bakiam. Actually, we developed this product in a pandemic period and uh, thanks to Pazar Bakiam, our customers can easily involved in e-commerce and uh, they by creating uh, their own online uh, stores. Now we have uh, more than uh, 50 sellers in our system. And as I mentioned, our revenue model based on commission incomes and subscription fee. Actually, our market is now in Turkey, uh, is Turkey and in Turkey, the amount of the monthly track section uh, made by credit card is now uh, 100, uh, 113 billion Turkish there and only uh, 2 billion comes from fintech but there is expectations that next year it will be uh, almost 7 uh, million billion Turkish lira. Thank you very much. I think the time is over. Okay. So thank you for the presentation. And we have the next startup, it's Bankoff. 
You'll have three minutes. Please watch the timer. All right. Hi, everybody. It's really excited to be here. My name is Elmir, and I'm going to present uh, uh, Banking Without Banks, Bank of. So according to the World Bank, there are 1.7 billion people without an access to the financial services. And the reasons are high cost and long distance to get an account, accessibility difficulties through the mobile apps and web bankings, and distrust in financial sector. As a solution, uh, as a solution uh, we created the Bank of Card. So what is the Bank of Card? It's uh, working with the, uh, through the uh, most popular messaging apps like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Messenger, so you don't need to download any app or go to the web banking. Uh, it works with the all major uh, wallets in all around the world, with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, Alipay. And uh, it has a lot of features, uh, like uh, uh, getting the card is really easy. Uh, you can get it from the bankoff.co website under the two minutes. You're just meeting the ball, uh, sharing with your personal information, and just after verifying your information, you, you're getting your card right inside the messenger. So we, uh, our business model uh, based on on-demand business model, and we charge our users based on their behavior. We have very, uh, very... Uh, good uh, user onboarding and verification, and uh, know your customer requirement the solutions, and we are able to onboard the users from 109 countries and verify their IDs and also selfies and match them uh, and to make sure that they are real users. Recently, we have launched the Bank of Business. Uh, that's a platform for small and medium businesses from all around the world. It's basically allowing the businesses to create the visa cards for their merchants, freelancers, or uh, 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 just run the payroll and top up their balances uh, easily. And so their end users will be can able, uh, are able to use those cards in all around the world with the old wallets. And we're also providing the APIs also for startups, so it means that they can easily integrate the, our services to their platforms as well. Only in the last six months, we have made more than uh, $489,000 in revenue and onboarded, successful onboarding more than 3,000 customers. Uh, we, our team is great, we know each other for, for six years and have experience in banking and financial payment sectors. Uh, we asking for one million to reach the 500,000 customers and uh, 10 million uh, monthly requiring revenue. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bankov. It was a great presentation, thank you. And we are moving with the Battery Low Interactive, please, on the stage. As soon as you will be ready to start, I mean, like, you will, your presentation will appear, and please follow the timer to see the time. So the story began with a kid who used to be scolded by his parents and his teachers for his undying love for games. Fast forward many years later, Bachelo Interactive makes wishes come true as a technology company and with a BHAG of being in the Fortune 500 list within the year 2031. How, uh, let's uh, talk about that then now. Uh, could you help me with the sign? Yeah, sorry. So yeah, um, I'm not sure why it's lagging. Guys. Just click it. Okay. All right, so it has been seven years for us in the business. Uh, with, right now we have a team of 50 people. Uh, 35 of them are engineers and artists, like the technical people, and the other have been working on the, uh, the arts and the designing segments, and we have provided these services to many countries in the world. And uh, if you uh, like segment our services like this, you can see the B2B segment, we have global, games, immersive and digital solutions. And the B2C segment, we have Sleepy Penguin. Before I move into details, so these are sneak peek of the clients we have served over the years, in the last seven years. And uh, in the B2B segment, uh, if you see, 
So we have uh, Batrilo Global, which works with uh, custom software development for the government, private, and the international organizations. We have served over 100 uh, uh, clients over the years. And Batrilo Games works with serious games, like uh, the one we're doing with UNICEF and Bangladesh government to uh, help the kids learn about sexual and reproductive health education. And uh, we're also building some exciting games on HR to uh, help you decide your career as an early uh, career professional. In Batrilo Immersive, we work with extended reality stuffs, you know, AR and VR. Uh, we are the first company to introduce AR in Bangladesh, I think, in terms of game. And in terms of uh, VR, we are uh, the leading simulation development company for Bangladesh Army and also providing solution with different international organizations in terms of like VR. And in terms of digital uh, marketing space, we have Batrilo Digital providing digital marketing solutions. And in the B2C segment, we have Sleepy Penguin, which works with uh, hyper casual mobile games and which is a $2 billion market globally. And uh, as you can see, and we have a few games that are on the pipeline and some uh, games on the Steam as well, some RTS and uh, some, um, yeah. Some roguelite games as well. And we have always been a profitable company as you can see and we are clocking around 240K by the end of this year. And the investment ask is uh, only $1 million to boost up my HR and uh, the uh, sales and marketing in different uh, regions. And this is my team, my partners, as you can see, they're the tech gurus of Bangladesh in AR and VR. And the kid that I talked about, that kid is me, uh, who wrote this book. Thank you, my time is over, I think, but I deserve more. Thank you, thank you for the presentation. We are moving with the bot box. Okay, this is a clicker. Okay, great, yeah. Follow, yes, follow the timer, please. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rustam, and I'm a uh, co-founder and uh, product owner uh, at Botbox. Uh, before diving the Botbox, I want uh, to mention that we are partnering with one of the biggest uh, communication platform with Tvilio, uh, and we are helping them to uh, dive in the market in Asia and Africa. Uh, there are, uh, uh, Tulio is serving 9,000 enterprises uh, around the world, including Facebook, Visa, Deloitte, uh, and Amazon. But there are uh, more than uh, 1 million uh, small and medium sized. Uh, companies uh, which cannot use uh, Tvilio because of uh, these three uh, problems. Uh, high cost development, long time for execution, and complex requirements for integration. We connected all the dots and uh, created a solution for this uh, kind of companies. Uh, so uh, they can serve and sell with chatbots. There are uh, ready, uh, ready chatbots with uh, customization uh, feature without no coding, and after the customization, they can uh, deploy these chatbots to all these channels uh, and uh, communication uh, through a single platform. Uh, after the deployment, they can reply to their customers and make uh, and reply to their teammates. Uh, how we are different from our uh, competitor Twilio Flex? Uh, Tvilo flex for enterprises and requires good coding skills uh, for the development, uh, but Botbox for small and medium businesses, and there is no code required uh, during the development. Uh, we have a subscription business model, which is just $199, uh, and including unlimited conversation, unlimited channels, and unlimited uh, seats. Uh, our communication strategy is very simple. We will launch this product on Tvilio Marketplace as an add-on, and we will advertise this platform through integration platforms, uh, Shopify and Stripe. Uh, this is our attraction. Our attraction is $121,000, and our annual recurring revenue is uh, more than $10,000. We reach these numbers with certain uh, clients, mainly from banking, financial service, and insurance. We, we have a great team, and we are co, uh, four co-founders with 50 years of combined experience in 
financial and customer engage with industries. Uh, we just need uh, $200,000 to onboard 300 business customers to reach more than $60,000 master recurring uh, revenue. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Botbox. Thank you for the presentation. And we are moving with the Brain Priz. Please, stage is yours. Follow the timer, please. Greetings, everyone. My name is Namik Hajiev. My startup is called Brain Priz. It's an online prize competition which rewards top three players. Every competition lasts for 10 days. Um, and there is at least three guaranteed winners in every competition. So uh, how the game works? Uh, we ask 15 questions, give you three minutes. Uh, top three players gets up to $5,000 uh, $5, um, rewards. And questions are from logos, countries, cities, uh, flags, football and car brands, etc. Uh, users can choose from four languages, English, Turkish, uh, Russian and Azerbaijani. So what we are trying to achieve, there are a lot of luck-based games like lotteries and uh, betting games. However, there is not enough games uh, where you can use your knowledge or skills to win. So we are trying to change that. Um, size of the market, just uh, native speakers uh, of four languages is uh, more than 1.5 billion. Uh, some rules, we send automated emails to users in their chosen languages. Uh, how do we choose the winners? Most number of correct answers, least number of wrong answers, and fastest time wins. Each entry costs $2. You can pay uh, using our payment gateway on our website, and we can accept, accept payments from uh, anywhere around the world. Uh, challenges, uh, our country is, uh, prefers cash over card. So uh, we are trying to open stands. We are planning to open stands in crowded areas uh, to accept cash payments, to be able to accept cash payments. To keep the users more motivated, uh, we are planning to give daily prizes to daily winners. Uh, competitions, uh, I know two British companies, BOTB.com and WatchLoto.com, and HQ Trivia. I don't know any uh, company in Azerbaijan doing similar work with, uh, with us. So performance statistics, uh, in May, our first month, we had 1,500 new users, 523 entries. Uh, from May to September, we stopped uh, promoting because uh, we needed to work on our website. In September, we uh, resumed promoting. And uh, uh, September and October, we had uh, over 4,000 users, new users, and had uh, more than 1,000 entries. Uh, we have, I have received uh, $16,000 from my family, and uh, uh, I, I don't need just capital. I want also to be part of a uh, bigger organization uh, to grow, because bigger organization means uh, more expertise, more networking, and more opportunities. Uh, my team is uh, technical support is, uh, provided by WebCoder and digital marketing webline. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our next startup is Class Notes. Please, stage is yours. Please follow the timer. Yes, I think it's fine. Hi, everyone. My name is Azal Disha, and I'm from Class Notes. Uh, so I'll start my pitch today with my own personal story. When I was in high school, I wanted to pursue engineering from one of the best universities in the world. And the only thing that was standing between me and my dream education was the standardized entrance test to that university. At that time, I realized that standardized entrance test can make or break a student's dream, and that this situation is faced by more than 30 million students in the world. Now, the problem with standardized testing is, standardized test preparation is incredibly expensive, and students spend around $900 just on preparation. The content that they get is not personalized according to their strengths and weaknesses, and recently, the video-based solutions that are popping up, uh, they're very slow, and they require high-speed internet. To solve this problem, uh, this has also been uh, shown in multiple research researches across the world. Now, to solve this problem, we created ClassNote, which is a research-backed platform that helps students prepare their standardized test using our great quality notes, using our flashcards, and using our multiple-choice questions. 
our solution is 70% faster than video-based solutions, and we guarantee an improvement of 15% marks to all the students who use our services. This claim is backed by international research paper on class notes by Cambridge Education and by thousands of users' feedback. Uh, because of our approach, we are currently helping more than 700,000 students every single month. We've helped more than 10 million students in the last three years, 30% of whom are from low-income communities. Uh, the traction that we have done is uh, more than 35 million, uh, more than 35,000 users stu uh, students use our services every single day. They spend more than 17 minutes on our platform and they view more than 6 million pages. Uh, the, the online market size for standardized test, pre test preparation is $32 billion globally. The market that we are focusing on is a $9 billion market growing at 15% every single year. Uh, we use a freemium model to generate revenues. So students who want to use notes, they can do so for free, but they see ads. If they don't want to see ads and access, want access to our database of questions and flashcards, they pay us $9.99. And if they also want to use personalized content, they pay us $14.99. These are our revenue projections for the next three years. And when compared to our competition, we are better from them because of our affordability, because of our personalized content, and because of, the, uh, uh, because of the notes that we are giving them. These are some of the achievements that we have achieved. We partnered up with the International Trade Center from Mass Challenge Accelerator in USA, UK Aid, and multiple organizations. We're also the winner of Startup of the Year and Takeoff Istanbul. We recently received an email from Michael Siebel, who's the CEO of Y Combinator, to also apply to Y Combinator. Uh, this is the core team that is working on class notes. We have a combined experience of more than 50 years, and we previous, previously worked in Silicon Valley and other countries. Uh, our board of advisors include advisors from MIT, from the International Trade Center, from the United Nations, and from multiple other organizations across the world. We're currently asking an, a seed investment of $150,000, out of which we have already closed uh, $70,000. Thank you so much for listening. This was Class Notes. Thank you, Class Notes. It was really quick. OK, we have the last startup in this session. It's Decapolis. Please, stage is yours. Hello, my name is Abdurrahman Habashne, the CEO of Decapolis. And we are food safety and quality assurance traceability solution. It's a bad idea to have this presentation before the lunch, because all of us as a consumers, we have no idea about the food that we buy for our children. Um, in the same time, retailers, food producers, and distributors, they don't have any adequate tool to make sure that the food that they sell for their customer is safe. And it's a huge problem. We are talking about more than 500 million food poisoning cases worldwide, and the liability cost only on the United States is 78 billion. All of these producers, they have a lot of equality stamps in their products with a regular audit every six months, they review the documentation. And all of that doesn't help them to produce a safe food. And let's go through this example. The dairy product that we eat uh, today in the hotel and we buy from uh, the market, it's go through main eight stages. Each one of these have many processes and many steps. All of it distributed in many channels and uh, there is many critical points. If any mistake happen, it will lead for a poisoning case. And in this case, they, it's distributed. It takes them two weeks to collect this information for any audit visit. And the regular audit visit doesn't help them with that. And the consumer have no idea about what happened. So the capitalists, we build an uh, automate solution to capture and validate all the measurement and the assessment at all stages and uh, to have access and batch by batch for the editors and also all these measurements will be an ultra bill because we store it on the blockchain and we verify the data as example like uh, for the dairy we have like some deep learning and AI that can verify if the bacteria test is, re is real or fake. But in the traditional way, no one can verify it because they check it after six months. Mainly, the capitalists reducing the waste cost, increasing the revenue 40%, and this is validated, and it's reduced 60% of the audit cost for the food producers and for the auditors. Subscription, our model is subscription, monthly and annual and set of fees. Now we are operating in six countries. Uh, in our first year, we generate 100K. In the second year, 500K. And guess what? The food producer, they spend 
28 billion on uh, the food safety audit. This is the market size and we want to have share of it. And now we are working with Bureau Veritas to implement this solution for the remote audit. Our team have very long experience in um, uh, system development and food safety audit. And, uh, okay. We raised 250K for now and we are raising 1.5 million for our uh, early growth round. And join us in our journey to create a new generation for food safety edit that they still, since 40 years old, they're still using the same system, review the documentation every six months. And thank you. Thank you very much, Decapolis. I didn't interrupt you because you just stopped on the, the yeah. most important slide. Okay, I think, uh, guys, we're finished with the first startup pitches, and we will be back after lunch at 2.30. Back to this hall. Thank you.